Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is part two of circulatory system notes. So in this video, we are going to discuss about coagulation, clotting mechanisms, and composition of blood. So coagulation is the process by which a blood clot forms to reduce blood loss after damage to a blood vessel. So whenever a blood vessel is damaged, a clot is formed, and this process is called coagulation. This happens with the help of clotting factors. There are some com uh, components which are present inside as clotting factors, which are present in inactive form. For example, prothrombin. Prothrombin converts to thrombin during this process, and this thrombin then acts on fibrinogen, which is the inactive form of fibrin, and then fibrinogen converts to fibrin, and the blood clot is formed. So, whenever the lining of a blood vessel breaks and endothelial cells are damaged, they reveal collagen proteins from the extracellular matrix. Thromboxin causes platelets to swell, grow filaments, and start clumping together. The platelets release chemicals known as clotting factors to begin the chemical cascade process. Cascade means this type of process where when clotting factors get activated, they activate thrombin, thrombin activates fibrin, and then fibrin causes blood clotting. This is called a cascade, where steps happen one after another, or they are linked steps. So the first step is damaged blood vessel. Whenever there is an injury, injury to vessel lining, it triggers the release of clotting factors. And the second step, formation of platelet plug takes place. So vasoconstriction limits blood flow and platelets form a sticky plug. Third step, development of a clot. Fibrin strands adhere to the plug to form an insoluble clot. When blood vessels are damaged, vessels and nearby platelets are stimulated to release a substance called prothrombin activator. It activates the conversion of prothrombin into thrombin and thrombin facilitates the conversion of a soluble fibrinogen into insoluble fibers or threads of the protein fiber. Next is composition of blood. Blood is composed of plasma, and serum. Plasma has water, protein, salt, lipid and glucose. Also it has RBCs and WBCs plus platelets. RBCs also called red blood cells, erythrocytes, they are specialized cells that circulate through the body delivering oxygen to other cells. Now let's see how bone, um, let's see how blood cells are formed. From the bone marrow, Bone marrow has the stem cells. These stem cells then differentiate into myeloid progenitor and lymphoid progenitor, two different families of blood cells. Myeloid progenitor give birth to platelets, RBCs, monocytes, neutrophils, and basophils, whereas lymphoid progenitor give birth to NK cells, T cells, and B cells. RBCs carry hemoglobin, a protein that uses iron to carry oxygen. Uh, it transports CO2 as well and white blood cells, they are also called leukocytes and they are primarily involved in immune response to identify and target pathogens such as invading bacteria. So blood must form clots to heal wounds and prevent excess blood loss and small cell fragments called platelets are formed and thus clot is formed. That's all for the video. Thanks for watching.